something new in my life, something wonderful in my life, something great in my life. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord. St. Paul says, I can do all things because of you who infuses power into me. Likewise yourself. The topic today is go back and try it again. Go back and try it again. Some have tried and tried and tried and tried and failed. And they don't want to even want to hear, go and try again. Because they know in themselves they will fail again. But I'm taking a different perspective right now. This perspective is Jesus' anger. You could have been doing all this thing by your power. But today, Jesus' power will join you. John 15, verse 5 to 7. Cut off from me, you can do nothing. Attach yourself as a branch to me, and you will yield fruit that will last. It's a simple mathematics in the spiritual realm. The ball is in your court. That's what I'm trying to say. That all hope not lost. It is not over until it is all over. And it cannot be over for you. As we have started this prayer since Sunday, I'm telling you today is the third day. You are not going empty-handed. Say amen to that. You have been trying, have been making efforts. You've been doing businesses of one kind or the other, and they all seem to collapse, to fail. You have put in all your maxima, all you think you can as a man. You have provided all solutions without solution. You are getting tired. You are weak. You are submitting. You are surrendering. Say no. Arouse yourself and come up again once more. Follow me in the prayer of today. You will discover that that is the hidden latent power in you that needs to be awakened. Another side. You will hear Jesus speak to you right now. You have been casting your net on the left. Now cast it on the right side. Only Jesus commands you to do that. And you will see the efficacy of what I'm talking about. Today is your day. Arise from your sleeping slumber. Self-defeatism. Negative thoughts. Believe you are going to rise from nothing to something great. Psalm 113 says you will rise from nothing to something great. And I'm declaring so with you. Trust God. Believe in God. Watch out. The story will change in your life from now. You get attached to Jesus. Believe in Christ. Change your notion. Change your thinking direction. Follow Jesus Christ, who has a positive mind for you. The mind of Christ for you is that you will rise above your present dilapidated situation. You are in a dilemma. You are in a squalor. You are in abandoned ruins. ruins. You need to rise now. And shine again. Go back and try those areas you've been trying. You see, within this one month left for a year, you will make it. I want to assure you, 
23 hours, 59 minutes of 34 December 2020, you still have the opportunity of giving your wonderful testimony. Trust me. In my word, I'm authoring this prophetically. Let alone, you still have 30 days, 30 days left. As we are praying, you still have more than 30 days. So, all hope not lost. All hope not lost. It is not yet over until it is over. Even when it looks like it is over, it's not yet over in the spiritual realm. Peter was already exhausted, washing his net hopelessly, and then we didn't succeed. He didn't know Jesus was coming. So in your case, you never know we are going to hold this kind of uh, program, and you happen to come and God. That is how it happened to Peter. You have lost your hope. COVID has consumed three quarters of the year. Come again, answers, if you are in Nigeria. And some of that setbacks. Again, the COVID is arising in some countries and they're going back to relock. So the year is tending towards neutrality. And you think it is all over. Not yet over with God. It is not yet over with God. Go with me in this reading. I go... Let me take up Luke chapter 5 from Jesus' experience. We read with me. Amen. Read with me. When he finished speaking, he said to Simon, Push the boat out further to the deep, deep water. And you, your partners, lay down your net for a couch. Lay down your net for a couch. You see, like Peter, you're already washing your net, raising it up. Jesus said, let down your net now. As I'm talking from this night, or morning, well, depending on where you are. Let down your net again for a catch. Say amen to that. You are going to catch fish. 2020, it is not yet over. Don't mind the hierarchies, the mishaps, the ominous things happening, disappointment and failures as it looks like. I'm going to assign another portion of the Bible to you and you understand that all these are gearing towards your elevation. Jesus says, lay down your net. And you are still hanging it out there. Washing it and cleaning it. It's not yet over. In your mind, in the mind of Peter, it was over. But for Jesus, it's just the beginning. Hallelujah. Lay down your net. Start now. Lay down your net. Your business has collapsed. You say you are tired. You try this, it failed. You try this, it failed. You try this, it failed. You try this, you begin to name them on a number of Jesus is saying, let down your net once more. Remember the hair of Samson the Great. He said, Lord, give me one more chance. You have been given a, sec a second chance. Go back and you catch the fish. This in a further month. To the response of Peter. Master, that is Luke chapter 5, verse 4, down to 5. Simon answered, We walked hard all night long and caught nothing. You see, you see, that shows extreme hopelessness. Extreme, extreme despondency. In fact, not even a dilemma, but the complete despondency. He had just lost hope of everything that nothing can work anymore. Lord, we worked all hard. Not just working. 
We worked hard all through the night. That's what you're doing. You don't allow God to help you. You don't want God to enter your boat. Remember he entered Peter's boat and started preaching. Give God yourself, your body, your thing, and anything that belongs to him. Give God what belongs to him. You are a property of God. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give to God what belongs to him. What are you? You are the property of God. Give yourself to God. Give your heart to God. And then to God. He's knocking on your door. And you don't want to let him in your boat. Let him come into your boat tonight, this day, and you begin to say different. Peter let him into the boat, and he saw the difference. Look at the hopeless statement Peter is making. Lord, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing. That's exactly what he said. The day is zero. The hour is zero. The month is zero. The year is complete. Nothing. Upon their first boots. They were all crippled by COVID-19, followed by some other consequences and unexpected mishaps and meaningless things, and you begin to count them. But God is saying again, let down your car, let down your net. Mm. Don't complain like Peter. We have not done what Jesus told you. As I'm talking right now, after this exercise, go back. And start it all over again. You will see the miracle of what I'm talking about. Be positive. Believe. Now listen for a moment. He said, But if you say so, I will let down the nets. He said, And that's exactly what I want you to do. I have said so in the name and the spirit of Jesus Christ. Go back and let down your net. I'm ordering you, go back and let down your net in the sea. You will catch the fish. When Peter yielded, didn't argue for her, and saw what he saw. Listen, they let down and caught such a large number of fish that the nets were about to break. Hallelujah. The power of believing in Christ. St. Paul was right. I can do all things because of you who infuse this power into me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 12 down to 13. John 15, verse 5 to 7. Cut off from me, you can do nothing. With me, you can do all things. That's the meaning. So I'm calling your attention right now. Go lay down your net. Wash man. Get down to your knees. Cling to Jesus. Let him come into your boat, your house, your family, your business. Some people, our son, we are trying to buy something and somebody says, uh, Father, this one will be church. Oh. What does that mean? You're excluding God from your church, your, 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 your business? Oh, Father, this one does not concern religion or this one not church matter. Who told you? God must be in everything you're doing if you want to succeed. If you are succeeding outside God, you are a thief. If you are succeeding outside God, you are, it is devil giving you that. Do every success in Jesus Christ. Believe in Christ. Trust in Christ. He has the capacity, the ability, the way with that, the paraphernalia. He has everything you can think of. The power to do it. Ability and capability. God is able God. Amen. And as I'm talking to you right now, I want you to begin to claim it. As I'm talking to you right now, begin to claim this possibility that your Jesus, the game changer, has arrived. Haven't you seen expert players, international players, great champion players? When they come into the game, the game will look dull and uninteresting, but as soon as, in those days, let me give you an example. Somebody like Kano Wankwa, somebody like J.J. Okocha, somebody like um, uh, Ronaldo and all those people who were great then, as you may know. Anytime they come into the field, the game will change. True or false? Jesus is a game changer. Once he steps into the 18-year-old, gold is smelling. And 
Jesus is there in a two-yard box with you against your opponent. Expect something mysterious, miraculous, wonderful to take place. Be ready to testify. Be ready to give glory. Be ready to give testimony of what God is doing right now in your life. Say, I claim it. As I'm talking, begin to claim it. Because there is no going back. You are going back to what you have left. You are tired of. You look despondent. Fallen. Abandoned. Tired. Complaining. Forgotten. Oh my God. You must around of your rise up from your slumber. From squalor. From unbelief. From weakness. You're going to touch the apex now. You're going to touch the zenith now. Look at it. They caught fish that almost sank their boat. And the mystery is this. For those of us who are fishers, if you fish in the day, you don't catch anything. Why? In the day, the fish gets into the mud and hide itself waiting for night when everywhere is calm. Then they will come up. And that's why fishermen fish in the night. Because it is in the night that the great fish come out of the mud to look for fish, to look for food. And then they are caught. So that's what they are tried during the period, the natural period of, natural period of fish roaming or searching for food. And they could not catch even one. Then abnormal time, Jesus time, which looks abnormal, which looks impossible, was then the unexpected thing happened in the daytime. How can fish come out from the mud in the daytime? Is it not God who has gone to change the night for the fish and change the day for the fish? And then made the fish think that it is the day is night for them to sink up so that Peter could catch. It's a, a, long, a, a mystery. Because if the day did not go down to dusk, the fish wouldn't have felt that it is time for hunting for their own food. So Jesus can change your life right now as I'm talking. Game changer. Call him game changer. He can suddenly make you rich and can suddenly make you poor. He's able God. And I'm convincing you right now, you believe, believe me, that those areas you have been putting your heart that have been failing, you will see surprises. Hallelujah. Even as a student, you will see yourself toppling in the class. All those areas, offices you have gone to search for a job, Go back again. Reapply. Your business that has collapsed, go and put a little investment on it and see a surprise. Try again. You are casting. Say, cast your net again on the riser. You've been doing it on the left side. Now cast again. I'm talking with frankness, prophetically, that you have to go back. Make a retry of all those areas you have failed before. And sworn not to. God is going to be with you if only you believe. If only you trust. And what is enough otherwise? Let me take you up again a little more on the side of the Romans. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. In the same way, the Spirit also comes to help us weak as we are, for we do not know. Okay, move down to 28. We know that in all things, God works for good with those who love him, those whom he has called according to his purpose. See, we know in all things that God works for good with those who love him. What well, did you understand? All disappointment will become appointment from now. 
All the disappointment you'll be getting will become appointment from now. That's the message. Romans 8, 28. All things work out unto good for the good of the children of God. And you are a child of God. Believe it or not. As long as you are listening to this prayer and joining it, you are a child of God. And God will not leave you out of this blessing today. Yeah, I believe and I'm trusting in what I'm saying. That all those disappointments you have been encountering, they will change now. They will turn into appointment because they all look like disappointment all this while. But God says, I will make them appointment for you. God, the game changer. It is not yet over until it is over. Even though when it looks like it is over, then it is a beginning. I repeat myself. Say amen. So I want you to know that I'm going to go into prayer, a little prayer for you right now. And God will surprise you. Amen. God will surprise you. God will surprise you. Amen. Let me see what sports. Prayer against disappointment. Stroke near success syndrome. Anything you put your hand. Just about to succeed. Long stories. Anywhere you come in, others will pass through and they will hook. Sometimes you feel a cobweb. That is a big setback. I want to tell you, it is all over. All the spiritual CCTV they use and manipulate you and manipulate your blessings, they are all shattered right away, right now, in the name of Jesus. So, I call your attention to our prayer book, Thunder and Fire, page 122, prayer 38. Prayer against disappointment. Stroke near success syndrome. Try and say it. With that Psalm 113. God is with you. Le waya kone re So romo pa ba I say consuming fire consuming fire consuming fire consuming fire consuming fire Jesus consuming fire Lord I am praying for your bro for your sons and daughters, my brothers and sisters far and near, that they are weak, they are tired, they are grumbling, they are complaining, nothing is working out for them. Some are disappointed in marriage, in family, in businesses, in the hands of friends. Let me tell you, Father, we are here for you. You are our game changer. You are our trailblazer. Trace the road for us again. We are dumped. We are blocked. We are entangled. Regular off of this labyrinth. Father, do something now. Do something about us. We want to get out of this chain. Father, let us move faster. We are not the horses of the Egyptians in the middle of the sea. You clog them together, they could no longer move. Father, remove the clogs and the, the, the legs of my moving horses. Father, we want to get to where, where you have destined for us. And the human beings and the spirits are fighting your destiny, which you gave to us naturally. Father, at this very hour, Begin to surprise my enemies. Release me from their tetardness. Release me from the spiritual imprisonment. Let me move faster. 
let me move faster. Father, what you have destined for me, I'm getting tired. Complaining does not allow me to pray. Tears all through the night. I see my age mates, my sets, those who started with me, those that started ahead of time, they are already far away above me. God, remember my cries today, my tears not to be in vain. I am calling down upon you. Make me reach my target, Lord. All that have been failing, let them turn around. Let them turn around and be my blessings and favor. God, remember me now. Remember me as you remembered people. Come into my boat and take over. Be the landlord, be the pilot, be the seller. Come into my family and be the landlord. Come into my life and be my master. Lord Jesus Christ, I can do nothing without you. I can do practically nothing without you. I recognize that. I, I don't detach. I am your branch. You are divine. God, do something now. Do something now. I'm recasting my net. I'm going back as you directed me. Like Peter went back and he succeeded. Permit my success. Lord, I'm taking directed from your servant. I'm going back to try all that I have been failing in this process. Father, grant a breakthrough. Grant a grand breakthrough. Mm. I pray you, Lord, do something now. Do something now. Do something now. Do something now. I am disappointed. I have failed. I am disgruntled about everything. I find I've lost hope, but I know you are a reviver. Mm. Do something now. Do something now for your people. They have cried a long time. They have been there wasting, and those who came later are championing them. They are already ahead of them. Father, and they are still starting. Every year, obese are born. It is all over. Father, look at your people. They are walking like elephant and eating like ant. This spirit must be killed. Walking like elephant and eating like ant. Obi is a boy every day. Father, let the young grow now. Mm. May we rise. 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 Rise above the catch of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I decree. Let all this disappointment begin to turn into appointment. And failures into success. Disappointment into appointment. Failures into success. All those who are laughing us shall see that we are now at Chikate Kriwe. We are to be looked upon. Father, the rejected stone is now the pillar that holds the house. Father, do it in our own time. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do this to the shame of the enemy. Do this to those who are laughing us to scorn. Father, laugh their scorn to a scorn. I pray in the name of Jesus. Turn this around. Turn this around. We are recasting the net. We are retrying the untried, the untriable. We are trying to do those things as exactly as you directed us. For, but you said, Peter said, but because you said it, I am going to try again. We have listened. Because you said it, that we should try again, we are going back like Peter did. And we believe we are coming back with smiles. Ooh. Jesus, the hour is here. Let there be light on the path of your people. Let there be light on the path of your people. Let there be light on the path of your people. They are groping in darkness. And they shall come out of this groping. Let there be light at the end of the tunnel. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. 
the fallen marriage, the broken marriage can be reconstituted. The business that has collapsed shall rise again. The dead bone, sickness, shall turn into health. Father, begin to change things around us. Replenish things, for you can do it. You have the capacity and the ability. Father, change our game now, for it is getting late. One month to the end of the year, nothing is achieved. Father, you are a God of miracle. We are serving you and we believe in you. And we shall share in your miraculous power at this very hour in the name of Jesus the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I was going through one little book written by Gabriel Onoy, my Reverend Father. And it says, before a, an arrow flies far, it has to be pulled back. You see? And when you leave it, it will travel very far. You are an arrow. All this setback is for you to be able to be catapulted into a height of height. And there you are going. Nobody can stop you. Boom. See you there. The man that spoke evil will begin to speak good of you. Say, I claim it. Say, I claim it. Say, I claim it again. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Daddy Mo. Thank you, my Lord. Amen. Finally, meet you again tomorrow. I've given you the prayers to say. Don't forget it. Say it. And remember always to key with www.okunerere.tv.net. There you will get all the information. Even those you have left, you didn't join us. You can still click in and go back and join them from there up. We have seven days to go. This is Todi, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are trying what you have tried before. First day, God will do it. Snap it. Snap it. Late. Second day, ask. You have asked. Third day, you say, those things you asked, now sink. Sink your net. Amen. So once again, I thank God for you for being part of this prayer. Seven days, peace will reign in this country. Blessings of God will show in this country. In your business, in your family, in your life, things will begin to take new shape. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name.